I have to wrap up this conversation here, unfortunately, because I've run out of time. But I simply, in conclusion, want to say a couple of things. To all the gentlemen who are watching right now, at dinner time, let me tell you this very, very simply. If a woman does not have access, a young girl doesn't have access to sanitary napkins, eight at a time every month for the rest of her adult life, she is very likely to develop infections, also more likely to develop cancer. There are cases when women have died in our country from not having access to these products. People die. There's no reason why this is not in the essential commodities list. It is not an option. Women have to menstruate every month. We would love to have the choice, but nobody gave us a choice. Hence, to the members of government, I don't want to give you a choice tonight. If there are a group of men sitting in a room calling themselves the GST Council who believe that they have a choice, you shouldn't have that choice either. And for the people who troll me on Twitter, saying that I can afford to spend money on designer handbags, why can't I pay for my own sanitary napkins? My answer to you is this. First of all, I don't own designer handbags. Secondly, I am willing to pay twice as much for my sanitary napkins every month if that money will be used to give free sanitary napkins or affordable sanitary napkins at 5 rupees for 8 units to someone in rural India. If we can actually push cola drinks full of sugar and cigarettes to every corner of our country in distribution, why can't we distribute sanitary napkins? You go to any part of this country, any dhaba on any highway and you'll get cigarettes and you'll get a soda or you'll get a cola. But you won't get sanitary napkins. We're doing something horribly wrong. And it's because we're not prioritizing it. A, we need to talk about it. B, we need to force the men who are making decisions on our behalf to take this seriously. It's not icky. It's not gross. It's part of life. And it's part of our life. So if you think you're going to be able to make decisions about us, you should be able to talk about periods. Or call us in. We'll talk about the periods. Consult with the women who know what's good for themselves. Thanks for watching.